Hi, this is Preetika Rao. I'm an actor from Mumbai, India, and today I'm at a very, very, very special place. I'm at any guesses, and it's going to be a treat for Bay and Dhaba fans. So stay tuned. Welcome to Cherry Studio. This was where I shot Bay in the Ha. So now I'm going to take my fans down memory lane. Okay, I'm going to tell you where I shot in this whole compound. I will be telling you which scenes were shot where exactly in which nook and corner in this studio. So come on, follow me. So. This was the very place where um, we shot that scene where, you know, Suchitra ji, who plays my mother-in-law, she makes me step out of the house with, uh, you know, Alia walks out of the house with all her luggage and she's literally conned by her mother-in-law who says that, you know, you have to go out and some something is happening and so she literally comes with her bag and baggage and she's sitting here. On those bags. So this was the place we shot that. It was right bank opposite the entrance. And now this was Barkat Royal. Do you remember? Oh my God! So many memories. We did so many scenes in this place. Um, right from, you know. Getting into the house when Alia gets married, she gets into the house. So it was all shot here. This place used to be decorated very beautifully. This was the main entrance of uh, Barkat Royal, and we did so many shots here, including that one episode where Zen gets drunk and you know he's like throwing a fit, and Alia is crying and she's trying to control him. It was shot here, if you remember. And we were shooting at midnight. I remember very clearly. Um, we shot, I think, till 3 a.m. And it was all here. And then, this was the area where we shot. Do you remember that shot where Alia and Zen get stuck in a place at night, and then they have watermelon? This was that place. So they had built a beautiful, nice wooden shack. Where you know, just like that, Dil Hai Ki Manta Nahi sequence was re-created, and you saw Alia and Ben sitting. It was shot right here. So during Eid, we had created the Muhammad Ali Road, the street food uh, corner. It was all here. It was all here. And you guys loved that sequence. Zain and Alia having rubbery and all of that it was all shot here. And you know the television um, set designers are excellent in uh, they master literally in cheating. So they just camouflage things. They can make day into night, night into day, and they can create paradise anywhere you give them. Also, the sequence where. Mamu dies, and Alia has this breakdown at the graveyard. Was shot right here. This was the place where we had created the graveyard, and this is the place where I did the breakdown sequence. Was shot right here. As I told you in one of my videos earlier, we used to cheat film city forest. At the backyard of Cherry Studio, so I'm going to take you right there. Come on. So this place had a lot of trees, and we used to cheat all our film city sequences here, and all the forest sequences used to be shot right here.
Alia gets married to the lawyer after separating from Zain. Uh, there is a scene where she's drying clothes in her balcony and uh, Zain comes down and he's standing down and waiting for her to just give him one glance. Uh, so the entire balcony was created here on this wall. And I have no clue how I went up there. Probably it was a part of this terrace was used and something was done. I don't remember how, but we had to like climb makeshift floors and makeshift ladders and yeah that was it also when uh, Zain calls over his friends for a match I think the current goes off and then Alia says I will fix it so this is the place we shot it so we had put up a ladder which is probably I don't know what like more than 15 feet and I had to climb that ladder without any harness. So I literally climbed the ladder right up to that, you know, that terrace place that you can see. And I remember Vivek Madan was so scared. He was like, they haven't even harnessed you, Pritika. Are you serious? You want to really climb that high? And yes, I did it without any harness and without any body double. So this is where the famous sequence was shot between Alia and Zen, where Alia is wearing that sari and you know she runs in the rain and uh, you know there's a beautiful romantic moment between um, Alia and Zen. It was shot right here. Now you can imagine how rocky this ground is. They had created fake rain and tons of it and I remember I had to wear this sari and run on this rocky land from here all the way up to there so and I remember a security guard telling me oh my god ma'am how did you do that scene I was feeling so bad for you and it was I think what midnight and this is the pool where Zen Abdullah would swim do you remember And Alia used to look at him from right up there. So they would make this, you know, makeshift wooden um, balcony kind of a thing. It would be makeshift. And uh, I had to climb up a ladder and then go there and stand and look at Zen. So that's how. And look at this place. I mean, it's looking so different. It's like unbelievable. You can't recognize it actually. So this wall was not there earlier. It would open into our set and now it's fully sealed. So it looks like the previous uh, crew that came and shot here, they probably didn't want this area, you know. So I think they just concealed this entire patch. So there's nothing here now. Unbelievable. Oh my god. It's like ground zero. So, when I was here, 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 I was Suraya Begum ka kitchen kahi yaha pe hua karta tha. Zain aur Alia ka jo room tha, wo yaha pe hua karta tha. And then we used to walk. I think, I think that switchboard there must have been Zain Alia's room. And from here, we used to walk on the set and come to the hall. We had this grand staircase going up and an entire floor up. 
where we used to shoot Zain's office and Zain's elder brother's room. So, upper ke jo kamre the, wo Suraya Begum ke kamre. Kabi usko cheat karke office banaya jata tha. Kabi use, uh, of course, it used to be uh, Fahad Bhai's room. So, and my God, just look at it. Nothing exists. Also, Bhopal ka jo sequence tha, mera jo Bhopal ka ghar hua karta tha, that used to be in this area, somewhere in this area. I think this entire area used to be the Bhopal area. And if I remember correctly, I used to walk in through that door to get into the Bhopal area set and the Bhopal area zone. Wow. This is like reality of life, right? Everything comes to an end. Everything becomes ground zero someday. You know, today, uh, after being here, I suddenly remembered this one scene from the movie, Kagas Ke Pool, which is Gurudat's movie. And uh, Gurudat is, of course, uh, my uncle. He's related to me, my grandfather's cousin. And there is a shot in this movie, Kagas Ke Pool, jahan pe, he's a very big director. And after many, many years, when he's old, he walks into a studio and enters the set where once upon a time, he used to be calling the shots. And he sees a random director directing, you know, some scene. He sees another actress shooting for the, you know, for her scene and saying her lines. And there are, you know, these people on the set and lightmen and cameramen and everybody's around there. The set is the same set where he used to be working one day, but it's not his moment. His time is gone. And, you know, that is the reality of life. Even if you go to a workplace, to an office and work there for 20 years, 25 years, the moment you leave that place, it's over. And uh, I think that this is the thing that is hit at this time. Life is so temporary, life is so impermanent. And this is why we have to do this in the world. We have to do this in the world and fully. Jeene chahiye. On that note, I take your leave and I leave this set giving it all my love and everything that I can wish the best. All the actors who will be, you know, destined to come and, and shoot here. Lots of love. Lots of love.